our friend. So Obama puts out against Mitt Romney the Big Bird ad, Big Bird all over the place, Big Bird this, Big Bird Sesame Street, Wall Street. It was kind of crazy, man. But listen, give me your comments, whatever, at this point. I don't believe America's problems are political as much as I do believe America's problems are spiritual. America does not have just political problems. We have spiritual problems. The only way we can solve the spiritual problems America has basically brought upon itself is we've got to return once again to the foundation. Someone just says, oh, due to you, Christian. Well, you guessed it, man. The cat's out of the bag. I'm a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. But anyway, America's got to return back to the foundational principles of the Bible, of Christianity, of God, period. We certainly have faltered and we've waned and we've gone away from the principles that once made America great. Our forefathers basically, the reality is, is founded this land and dedicated it to God. You know, the Bible clearly says in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14, it says, If my people will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, the Bible says God will hear from heaven and he will heal our land. He will heal the land. And we've got to once again see the land of America healed once again. I don't believe there's a politician created with oxygen in his lungs that can solve all those the perplexities and the problems. America is basically to a degree brought upon itself. So we've got to get on our knees like men and women. We've got to fight on our knees like men in prayer and crying out for the mercy, compassion, grace, and the love of God for a spiritual awakening over America. By the way, again, I'm a minister of the gospel. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel by YouTube, hit the subscribe button also under the search Rob Wood 1. Many of the Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Join me in prayer for America. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for America. The best days of America are not behind us. They're ahead of us. Lord, we believe you've got a great plan for this nation. You have not forgotten us in Jesus' precious name. Friends, the Lord loves you. God's got a mighty plan for your life. The book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice, but he wills all to have the assurance and insurance that when we take our last breath, we can and will make heaven our home. And the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. The Lord loves you. Be blessed. God has a plan for you, friends. Don't ever forget it.